Merhaba arkadaşlar. Bugün kanalımıza yeni bir misafirimiz var. Viyana'daki matematik bölümünden Mihail Aymayr bize kendi bölümlerini tanıtacak ve kendisinden matematikçi olarak bahsedecek. Hello Mihail. Thank you very much for accepting this interview. It's my pleasure. So I just would like to introduce your department and your program and your research to our young audience. Well, can you tell us a bit about the Department of Mathematics at the University of Vienna? Mm -hmm. So, uh, um, I only arrived four years ago, so I, I still have a lot to discover about the faculty. It's uh, the largest mathematics faculty uh, in Austria. It's actually a very uh, large faculty for mathematics period. There are about 34 professors uh, and uh, 25 associate and assistant professors. Um, so we uh, uh, cover a very broad range of subjects from, uh, you know, foundational research in mathematical logic uh, all the way to, uh, you know, modern methods in data analysis. I myself am a geometric analyst and, um, yeah, so the main uh, tasks of the Faculty of Mathematics are to train, you know, uh, students in, in uh, you know, mathematics, bachelor, master, in PhD level and also uh, there's a large group of students who uh, uh, aspire to be uh, high school teachers, middle and high school teachers. So we have uh, separate degrees and courses for them and it's a, a large part of our responsibility. Mm -hmm. So can you give us some numbers as to like, how large your student body is for example? Mm -hmm. So um, um, it's actually difficult, let me think. Mm -hmm. So we graduate in the master program in, uh, in mathematics, uh, maybe around 40 students a year. So when you compare that to the number of, uh, of, of faculty that I've already told you about, you can tell that our students get a lot of attention mm -hmm. uh, and care, and I think that's really great. And uh, there may be around 70 students who graduate uh, with a degree in teachers, teachers education in mathematics every year. In a bachelor level, I'm actually not exactly sure. Maybe you know, 60 to 70 in our mathematics program and in teacher training program, it might be might be a lot more. Yes. And do you also have an international program, mm -hmm. for example, for people from Turkey yeah. if they want to come and study in Vienna? Uh -huh. What are so their options? Our master and PhD programs, uh, they are taught in English and they are international programs and it's a very international student body uh, indeed. So people come from all over the world. Uh, traditionally, uh, you know, there's a, a large body of students who come uh, from neighboring countries, uh, you know, countries that used to be part of the Habsburg Empire. Mm -hmm. So uh, there are many Czech and Slovak and Hungarian and Croatian students. Uh, but uh, uh, on you know starting master in the in the PhD level, we, we really have students from all over the world, and uh, you know also when you, you know, walk through the corridors of the mathematics department and you 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 you, you know the languages that you hear or um, you know the languages that you guess people speak, it's it's manifold. Uh, mm -hmm. so there's a lot of English, a lot of French, but also a lot of Turkish. Oh. The bachelor program itself is taught uh, in German, so uh, in, indeed the first uh, two years of the bachelor program, most of the courses actually are taught uh, in German, but because uh, the body, the faculty body is uh, so international and many of my colleagues, uh, they, uh, they arrive here and they don't, they don't speak German frequently, uh, we already teach some, uh, we also teach some of the bachelor courses uh, in English, but typically only you know, 30 year courses. Uh, so if uh, students from Turkey are interested in coming uh, to Vienna and, uh, you know, for an exchange semester, uh, you know, starting the third year, they'll you know, be able to choose from a, a large variety of courses. Mm -hmm. And how many years does it take for a student to complete the bachelor's program? Mm -hmm. So it's a three year program. The master program is a two year program. Mm -hmm. And for the PhD program, we anticipate that students will take three to four years. Mm -hmm. And I think you also have some Erasmus exchange programs mm -hmm. with, with other universities. Yes. Mm. 
Can you also tell us a bit about yourself as a mathematician? Mm -hmm. What is your area? What kind of research do you like to do? <laughs> so I'm a geometer at heart and also in practice. So uh, sometimes when I'm writing grants, I'm passing myself off as a mathematical physicist because I, I actually do work on problems that are, come from mathematical general relativity. Uh, but uh, the ideas that I bring, uh, they are usually, usually, typically geometric. <laughs> and when you say geometry, I think the audience usually thinks of things yeah. like Euclidean geometry. Mm -hmm. Do you also include some other types of geometries? Yeah, so I'm a, uh, a differential geometer, so I study the geometry of curved spaces. So Euclidean space is no curvature, the curvature diminishes. Of course, it's uh, where a lot of my intuition derives uh, from, but typically uh, the challenge is in carrying over that intuition uh, to uh, uh, more complicated uh, geometries. Sometimes these compli uh, complicated geometries, they have uh, uh, interesting and very beautiful features that Euclidean space doesn't have, for example. Okay, so Michael, you told me you have an outreach project going on mm -hmm. with these students. Can you tell us a, a bit about it? Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, my, my actual work, what my contract says, is to uh, to do research in foundational mathematics uh, and to, uh, to train our students in becoming mathematicians. So now, of course, everything begins, uh, you know, for us as a university, uh, with students who have only just graduated from high school, have taken their school leaving exams, and I believe it's very important to help our teachers in uh, middle and high schools uh, to, uh, to train the students well. And uh, no matter where you look, I mean, no, it's a difficult and challenging problem. So uh, I, uh, uh, shortly after I arrived in Vienna, um, I decided that I also wanted to uh, help and contribute uh, to the training of future teachers. So I founded an outreach project, it's called Mathematik macht Freude, Freunde. So it's a, uh, a play on words in, in German, Freude, Freunde, the words for joy and friends. Uh, are only one letter apart, and that letter is parenthetical uh, in, uh, in my project. And the idea of the project is to uh, uh, create additional resources for the training of, uh, of high school math teachers uh, by connecting uh, their training uh, with challenges that we see uh, in, uh, in high schools. So high school students, they will come uh, in the holidays uh, here to the Faculty of Mathematics and they will work together with future teachers uh, and hopefully resolve uh, you know, problems that they might face uh, in, uh, in mathematics or challenges. Uh, we also work together with students who can't, high school students who can't get enough of mathematics. So for example, we have an Olympiad program as well. It's going on as we speak and now uh, we are very proud of the students, both the high school students and the future mathematics teachers. So uh, I think it's uh, an important part of uh, how I view my responsibility as a professor. I am given a lot of opportunities here um, that you know, my society uh, supports. And uh, uh, it's not something that I, I think we, 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 we should take for granted. And uh, you know, as a pure mathematician, um, you know, maybe one day, you know, contributions that I'm making in my actual research, they will help, you know, solve more immediate problems uh, of humanity. Uh, for now, I would like to give a little bit back uh, with uh, pressing questions, and I do that uh, through my outreach project. Mm -hmm. And can I also ask you, who is supporting this outreach project? Is it the university, the Ministry of Education? Uh, so that's uh, support, so that the university uh, um, uh, permits me to conduct this project. Uh, so uh, uh, it's you know, also as my role uh, as, a, as a professor here, the Ministry of Science and Education is very supportive. Uh, the city of Vienna, the Industriellen Vereinigung, so that's a private organization. But I would say that most of the support really comes from my you know, immediate colleagues. So uh, a lot of them have children in school. Uh, they, uh, they also care very much 
uh, about our future teachers and you know we, we think that uh, you know there's no such thing as training uh, future teachers well enough and uh, it's important to uh, to support them in the, and of course the students themselves uh, so you know they make this choice in the Austrian university system you choose when you you know enroll at university whether you want to study to become you know, a mathematician, or whether you study to become a math teacher, there are separate mm -hmm. degrees. So it's a very conscious choice that they make, and uh, uh, it's not always easy to be a teacher. I think it's it's one of the most beautiful professions that I can uh, imagine, but I can also easily imagine uh, situations and, uh, and conditions where being a teacher uh, is very hard. So, um, you know, with, with you know, our students who aspire to be teachers, uh, teachers, I never ask myself whether, you know, maybe I'm spoiling them. I think they, they really deserve the attention that, uh, that we give and, uh, and uh, you know, it's also important that, uh, to recognize that we ask a lot of our teachers uh, and I think at least, you know, as part of their training they should experience this care and attention that we later hope they will give uh, to our students in school. Well, thank you very much, Jan, for this nice interview. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it was a pleasure meeting you as well. <laughs> Likewise. <laughs>